Hello there, everybody. Michael here, playing Nancy Drew, Warnings at Waverly Academy. And right now, I'm going to ask Mel about this. She's been accused of plagiarizing a paper. It's open. Hi, Mel. It's not true, if that's what you want to know. So you didn't plagiarize that paper? Of course not. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote, ever. Why did they think you did? Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher, she matched my paper with something on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? Papertrail.edu. It's a website all the teachers here go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the internet. Mm -hmm. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Not only is it insulting that they think I cheat, but that I do it in such a way that I was sure to get caught? Come on, I am not that stupid. You think someone's trying to frame you? Day after Megan left, I found a note under my door. And then, not too long ago, I got another one. Both were from the black cat. If I could just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't. And whoever this black cat person is knows it. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's going to care. I don't deserve this, Aww. and I need help. Just before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the paper I supposedly plagiarized. I didn't get a chance to write it down, but I do remember that none of the digits in it repeated. See if you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that, please? Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. Here's the paper I got back from Mrs. Arlington. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources for paper trail. If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly stole from. Aww, poor Mel. I feel bad that she doesn't have any friends. Thank you, Becca. Oh man. Just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway, what's new with you? Who do you think the black cat is? I don't do conversations on that subject, remember? Especially when it's so obvious that it's Izzy. What makes it so obvious? Izzy doesn't deserve to be valedictorian, and she knows it. She also knows she'll never get into an Ivy League school unless she's valedictorian. So, she has to eliminate the competition. I'll quit bugging you. Drop in any time. Okay, so I'm going to go solve the mystery of the plagiarized paper. Let's go online to Paper Trail. Let me see, that was... where was it? Here? Academics, Resources, and Paper Trail. So we want to insert a database source number. There's a whole bunch of them on the piece of paper. I'm going to insert this one because it's the shortest one. 683.29.1 And now we're going to get some IP address numbers. Mel said that none of the numbers in the address repeated. That means you're going to have to figure out which combination of all these various possibilities yields you an IP address with no repeating numbers. Now as you can tell we're going to need 10 digits overall and that means we're going to have to have a combination of two three-digit numbers and two four-digit numbers. This also means if you take a look at all the three-digit numbers you'll notice some of them start with one and the other ones start with two. So concerning those two three-digit numbers you're going to use one of them is going to start with 1, and the other one is going to have to start with a 2. And after a lot of thinking, I got this solution. If the date on this paper is correct, then whoever posted the paper online did so after Mel turned it in, which proves she didn't copy it. Jacob Price. I wonder if that's the same Jacob Izzy allegedly stole from Leela. All right, so we've just managed to prove that Mel is not a plagiarizer. All right! I can't wait to tell Mel the good news. It's open. 
What's the word? Was the date on your term paper the date that you turned it in? Yeah. Why? Because the paper you supposedly plagiarized wasn't online until the next day. Someone must have gotten a hold of your paper, copied it, and posted it in an attempt to make you look like a plagiarist. So all the headmistress has to do is check the dates and I'm in the clear. Oh my gosh, Becca, thank you. Thank you. So who posted it? Who tried to frame me? Jacob. I, uh, I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like Izzy may have been involved. Uh-oh. What a surprise. Hey, I got something a newbie like you might like to read. Has some interesting information about Waverly. Thanks. You can keep it. I know everything I want to know about this place. All right. So this article is basically the whole reason we went through the trouble of proving Mel innocent. Anything else going on? Well, we also proved her innocent because Mel's a great person. I mean, I like her. She seems nice. Do you hang out with Izzy much? Um, I don't hang out with no. her at all. I can't stand her. She's so fake and vacuous. It's like talking to a mannequin. Not to mention, it looks like she tried to frame Mel for plagiarism. How can she be vacuous and be a valedictorian candidate? You tell me, and we'll both know. Are you friends with Leela? No, although I used to be. Mm -hmm. Of course, that was in grade school, before she got caught up in sports. Now all she thinks about is competing and winning and school spirit. Stuff I just find pathetic. Do you think she's smart? Extremely. Which, to me, makes her descent into jockdom even sadder. Do most kids like her? I'm not a fan, but everyone else? You bet. Okay. I'll let you get back to your music. Drop in any time. All right, so you're probably wondering what's so important about this piece of paper that we got from her. Well, I'll read it right now. This year's gold medal team members were seniors Tara Moore, Evelyn Corbelis, huh, I guess Mel has a sister, Donna Mingles, and Eleanor Pendlin, hmm, that name sounds familiar, and Rosemary Ivy. So that's their first academic win trophy, and if you remember... Rachel wants a picture of the first academic win trophy. Let's get that trophy and take a picture of it. There it is. Alright, we've just taken one of the pictures we need in order to win the game. Awesome.